are live. Welcome to Leadership Dolce, sweet morsels of wisdom where I am serving it up every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here in a new location on Newborn Evolution. So I made a change um, to my Newborn Evolution site. Why does it look like I am completely in darkness here? Uh, that is very weird. So I am live and I have beautiful lighting on me and I am completely in the dark. Hold on. Still nothing. I look completely in the dark. Um, okay. Let's see what's going on here. This is very strange. Hmm. This is very weird. I'm always like froth with technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. It's showing me as being in the dark and hopefully I'm not. So if I am, um, let me know that I'm in the dark. And if I'm not in the dark, let me know that I'm not in the dark. So anyway, I have made a change um, and I am going to be doing my um, Leadership Dolce in my Newborn Evolution business page because um, you now have the ability to share any of these sweet morsels of wisdom um, with anyone who might need a little bit of leadership wisdom in their life. So now you can share. Hopefully you can see me. Um, okay, so these are really turbulent times. There are now over 40 million Americans who are out of work and um, approximately 195 million jobs have been wiped out globally. So first I wanna say I'm here to help. And as I have been um, every single week, Hey Lisa, how are you? I have a quick question. Can you see me? Because what's showing up to me is that the screen is totally black. So if you can see me, it's fine. I just wanna make sure that I'm not just like a voice without um, actually an image. So if you could let me know, that would be awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so with all of these um, millions and millions of jobs that have been eliminated, um, I have put together a free guide and a video on how to get more interviews now. And it's called, <clears throat> cool, awesome, thank you, Lisa. Um, so this guide is called The Six Secrets on how to have companies begging to interview you. So the link is already on here. Thank you, you're so sweet, Lisa. <laughs> you're so beautiful too. Um, so the link to the guide is um, right here. It's up already and um, you can grab it at any time. But I wanted to let you know that I've talked to a lot of people and what they're telling me is, is what they need most right now is to get the attention of hiring managers, executive recruiters and HR personnel. That is what they really need. So um, that is why I created this free guide for you all. And that is actually what I want to talk about today, because you might be searching for your next big career move. And I'm going to tell you that it doesn't matter if you're unemployed or if you're furloughed or if you are um, a contractor or a freelancer or if you're just looking for your next dream job, because ultimately we're all doing that, right? If we are in the job market, we are all looking for our next dream job. So. Um, I am going to talk about that, but before I do, I just want to say, who am I? Well, I'm Joanne Newborn. I'm Certified Lifestyle and Leadership Coach with Newborn Evolution, and I'm a director uh, with a very large publicly traded company. I have my MBA from Penn State University, and I graduated uh, with Beta Gamma Sigma Honors. 
And mostly, which is the most important to me, is that I have a real passion for higher knowledge. And I have a real passion for leadership. And throughout my career, I've really noticed that there has been a lack of leadership. And my colleagues and other people I've worked with um, have said the same through the years. So um, for me, the best way that I can help professionals who feel frustrated and unfulfilled and um, stressed out is to empower you all with a leadership culture. And that is the best way for professionals to be able to find their dream job with ideal salary and a luxurious work-life balance. And that's something I'm gonna talk about another time because that is um, a big gap of opportunity as well to be able to find a work-life balance. But let's just focus on finding work for tonight. So um, I want to talk about your job search results and how to shift them. So um, if they're not what you want them to be, um, so let's say you're seeking a job and you've been submitting resumes like crazy online, hundreds of resumes and no one's calling. Your email is just filled with junk and um, you're just really wanting companies to set up interviews with you, but you're just feeling completely deflated because the job search is going nowhere. Um, so your mind, what your mind starts to do is it starts to wrap a story around your results. And what it'll say is, well, um, there's no one's hiring right now. Uh, everyone's having a hiring freeze. There's a pandemic out there. Um, no one's going to notice me and I'm just going to be stuck here in this same place forever and ever and ever, and I'm never going to get noticed. And you are going to spiral down very, very, very quickly. So I want to ask you a couple of questions, but before I do that, I actually wanna tell you a couple of success stories. So both my client and my good friend both got hired and started working in the middle of this pandemic. And they both got their dream jobs and they are loving what they are doing. And one was employed and she found her dream job, that was my client. The other was unemployed um, for quite some time, but also found dream job, dream job, even with a gap going on in employment. So, um, because I'm telling you for as many companies that are laying off right now, there are just as many companies that are hiring and um, they have a lot of needs right now and there are states that are starting to open up now and companies are having their employees return to work. So in both of these success stories, these were companies that had a problem and they needed a problem to be solved. And both my client and my friend had the solutions to the problems that they needed solved. And they were the prize for these two companies. And this is what I am empowering you to do. And this is why I'm standing here talking to you. So, okay. Let's go back to the questions that I've had for you. I want to ask you something. Do you think you're hiding? What? <laughs> that sounds nuts, right? You've probably applied for hundreds of jobs. And is Joanne crazy to ask me such a thing? Well, let me tell you, it is easy to apply for jobs online and in fact, LinkedIn actually shows you how many people have applied for jobs before you. So you can see that you might be applying for a job that anywhere from like 200 to 1,000 people have applied for. So how can you possibly stand out from the crowd in this scenario? Well, I'm gonna tell you that you can't. And I'm going to tell you as a hiring manager myself, um, 
I've waded through hundreds and hundreds of resumes for roles that I had because my HR department was too overwhelmed to be able to do it themselves. Now, from my perspective, um, I scanned through these as quickly as possible because I had my own full-time job to do and I was covering the role of the open position that I had. So I would just look at the resume and then I if I didn't see something immediately, I would just move on to the next because I was spent, I was fried, I was burnt out and I really just needed this like person to come along to solve the problem that I had. So if something didn't catch my eye, I just moved on to the next resume. And I know that it probably doesn't sound very fair, but it's the fact of the matter of the world that we're living in today. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of tough love. Are you ready? <laughs> it's not always easy to hear some tough love, but um, I'm going to say if just applying online has been your only course of action, then you are hiding. Because in order for you to get the phone ringing, you are going to have to stand out from the crowd, which means getting visible. And it means getting out of your comfort zone. So I have all of this in the free guide that I was telling you about, um, six secrets on um, having companies begging to interview you, which the link is in there. But, um, <coughs> so what I wanna say is if you're honestly seeking this, then I would definitely grab it. It's like rich with great information. It's a guide and a video and it's free. Um, but I do wanna talk more about our unconscious mind and the way we hide. I'm not gonna go through what's in the guide because you can take a look at that yourself. Real, what I wanna do is like the fun stuff that everybody loves. I wanna talk more about our unconscious mind and the way we hide because we don't always do it when we're job hunting, um, right? And that could be the biggest issue, um, but we also do it in life. We do it in life all the time. And I'm gonna just ask you, like, are you not in a relationship right now? So what have you been doing during the pandemic to um, move forward in, you know, being in a relationship? Have you shut yourself off from even chatting with people online? And um, so that could be one way. Uh, or maybe you're looking to make some kind of move, moving out of your um, house or your apartment. I'm gonna tell you another success story. A friend of mine just sold her house in the middle of a pandemic and she got above her asking price. And yeah, she did it in a pandemic. So there are success stories all around us if we want to see them, if we choose to see them. And we can be a success story. Um, I have a success story of my own. We can be that success story if we choose to adapt that mindset of being the prize. Another question I have for you, have you put your creative endeavors on the back burner and suddenly you have time to work on them, but you're just not feeling motivated. And I had talked about this in another leadership dolce, right? But these are all examples of hiding. We're afraid. We're afraid to be vulnerable. We're afraid to be open. We're afraid to take a risk. And we're afraid to be judged. So what if we just said, and here's where I'm gonna give you the solution. What if we just said, so what? Who cares? I'm doing this. I'm putting myself out there. I'm going to do a few things out of my comfort zone. And so what if I'm judged? Who cares if someone judges me? I'm magnificent, just the way I am. And when you start to really embody these thoughts, HR managers and hiring managers are going to start to want you more than you want them. 
because everyone wants a winner on their team, right? Everyone is seeking a great leader. Ah, it always comes back down to leadership, doesn't it? It does, it really does. Um, if you go into your job search with a leadership mindset already in place, well, guess what? People are going to be drawn to you. And um, if you do this with a leadership mindset, and when you do the six secrets that I'm sharing with you in my guide, you're not going to feel uncomfortable when you are in that mindset because you know that you are the prize. You're not just some cog in a wheel who's desperately hoping someone will hire you. Do you see the difference? If you see the difference, just give me a little heart or something. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do a quick little visualization technique with you. I'm not gonna turn on any music. Um, it's re relatively quick, um, but I think it's gonna be good to show you the juxtaposition of both sides. So um, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths. And I want you to picture yourself submitting resume after resume after resume, feeling completely exhausted. And the time it takes to do each one is unsurmounting. And I want you to feel the desperation. I want you to feel the panic of seeing how many other resumes are being submitted. And I want you to feel the fear around not being able to find the job that you want or any job at all. And I want you to take a couple more deep breaths. And now I want you to go in your mind and sit someplace that you love. A park, a beach, a chaise lounge chair in your living room, something that just makes you feel very relaxed. And I want you to envision yourself as a very important person, maybe someone who's famous, someone that everyone wants to talk to, who they want opinions from, who just, they just want the pleasure of spending five minutes with you. That's all they want. They just want five minutes with you. And you kindly sit there and you allow them your precious time. And you give them each a few minutes of your time, your kindness, your deep knowledge and they're so happy that you allowed them this moment and you're a change maker and your opinions count and companies are relying on you to figure out what to do next and in this time of turbulence and chaos, they are relying on you. And they need you more than you need them. And you are the solution to their problem. You are the prize. Take a deep breath and open your eyes. So how did it feel? Anybody wanna add anything? Okay, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, and I'm only also going to leave you with the link 
to my six secrets to have companies begging to interview you, uh, my free guide. And um, I really, really do dive into the specifics of not hiding and how to get out of your comfort zone. But I give you actual technical and tactical techniques to follow as well that are really like things that you can action very easily. Um, and finally, um, I just want to give you a quick reminder that this coming Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, I am doing my monthly leadership lounge. It will be the June leadership lounge. And um, I do have a couple of spots left. And so I did put the link to that um, in uh, the post as well. And it's 22 hours for two hours of deep coaching. And um, I only let five people in a month so that you get some really good one-on-one -on -one coaching time with me. So thank you for being here. I'm wishing you all love, light, and leadership, and ciao, and love to you, love to Italy, love to everyone out there in the universe who is um, struggling through difficult times right now. There's so much of that going on, and my heart goes out to everyone who is in turmoil right now. I, I really wish that I could, you know, do something and fix it all, but we have to do it ourselves as a collective. Um, and I'm going to go and enjoy some um, dolce myself right now. Um, and I will see you real soon. All right. Bye.